New seat for Mentor 7 seat SUV confirmed for 2018. New 4X4 will sit above the Ateca and is due to arrive late in 2018 with 20V20 concept inspired styling. Could use for Mentor name. Seat boss Luca De Mio has officially confirmed that the Spanish brand's SUV lineup will grow to include a new flagship, 7 seat SUV. He also told Auto Express that the seat for Mentor name is under consideration for Mentor for sure is one of the names we are considering, but there are a number of others, he said. The Nissan X-Trail rival will land far sooner than initially expected, with sales planned for the second half of 2018. The firm has also released the first shady teaser images of the large, seven-seat car, hinting at its overall shape and lighting signatures. Speaking at a press conference in Barcelona, Demio said of the new SUV, I can tell you we will see it in 2018, adding I'm optimistic that we can be very successful with this car, when I see the comparative tests that the Ateca is winning in Europe, we think we can be a very credible entrant to this larger sector. Seats offering is likely to replace the Alhambra MPV in its lineup, the firm currently has no plans for a direct successor to the traditional seven-seat people carrier, which has been performing well but in an ever-decreasing segment of the market. Demio said seat intends to have a similar group of customers to Alhambra for the new SUV. This is why this platform exists, so we can have a very quick market entry for an SUV. Based on the modular MQB platform shared with the Skoda Kodiak and expected to be very similar in size, Demio says the platform mean seat is ideally poised for a very quick market entry into the large SUV sector. The new model sits above the Ateca and forthcoming smaller Arona. It'll feature several styling cues from its smaller siblings, the choice of five or seven seats and a range of turbo petrol and diesel engines. The new SUV won't be built at Seat's Martorell plant, where models such as the Evisa are made, and also Audi's Q3 and forthcoming new A1. That plant is already near full capacity, so production will take place in Wolfsburg where platform sharing models like the VW Tiguan are built. No name has been confirmed as yet, but Demio claims there are plenty of famous Spanish cities available for us to use for a name. Seat has applied trademark applications for a clutch of new nameplates, one of which could end up on the new SUV. Barna, a colloquial name for Barcelona used by locals, and Mallorca, the largest of the Balearic Islands, have both been applied for in recent months. However, Seat has also applied for Formentera, swiftly followed by Formentor, the tweak suggesting this is the name most attention is being paid to in-house. Seat delivered 320,000 vehicles in Western Europe in 2016, an increase on the year before, although CEO Luca Deo Mio has admitted the full effect of the Ateca, which only launched in July, will be felt at the end of this year. The new SUV will play a crucial role in the Spanish brand's continued growth. Operating profits are already up to 143 million euros, the first positive figure since 2007. New seat large SUV, previous hints. Two years ago at the Geneva Motor Show, Seat showed its 20V20 large SUV concept, and its then-boss Jurgen Stackman promised that it would reach production if the company's first SUV, the Ateca, proved a sales success. Now the current chief Luca De Mio has admitted that the bigger car is on track to reach dealerships before the end of the decade. Asked at the Geneva Motor Show if he would like to do a seat version of the Kodiak, De Mio replied, I can't say today, but we are working on it. We see opportunities, we're looking at the business case and the vision of the product. He added, 20V20 was not just something we did for fun, there was some thinking behind that. The whole thing about subs is it's where the money is today, said Demio. The next big thing will be interpretation of the SUV and possible themes variations on the theme. The SUV is not a fashion thing, it's a strength in spite of everything, higher cost, higher CO2. It's the new interpretation of a sports car. The new SUV, like the Kodiak, will use the A2 variation of the architecture in its longer wheelbase, 
sharing many components with VW's recently launched Tiguan Allspace. When quizzed recently by Auto Express on what would eventually replace the Alhambra, seat design boss Alejandro Mizonero said, We do not want to do that body style anymore. We will replace it, but not with the one-box design we have now. The current Alhambra, built alongside its Volkswagen Charan sister car, has been on sale for six years, with only a minor facelift in 2015. When quizzed about what would eventually replace the Ford Galaxy rival, Mizonero said, We do not want to do that body steel anymore. Demio also confirmed that he'd be happy selling bigger, more expensive seat models. We could go bigger, you have to do it in the right way with the right timing and sometimes not in an obvious way, he said. In terms of transaction price, between the old Leon and the new Leon there was a huge jump, so we don't have a problem being at the same level as other competitors, like, for example, the French. We have to do that step by step, we already did it with the Leon, the Ateca was another step so slowly we can find a way to build our presence and the level of average price between 20,000 euros and 30,000 euros before we used to be between 10,000 euros and euro 20, 000. However, Demio did sound a warning about seed pushing too far up market. If everyone goes up in the group, then we all end up doing exactly the same thing, then you don't need 12 brands, he said. It's very important for Seed to reinforce its small car business and be successful with cars like Evisa and Arona. We need to profile the role of Seed in the group. In spite of the arrival of new subs, Demio confirmed that the brand's successful Cooper models would continue. I see additional possibilities of leveraging the whole story of Cupra, he said. I don't want to be more precise than this but you have to remember that I was the guy who resurrected Avarth when I was at Fiat, so I know that this kind of thing can work, but you have to do it right. When asked if it could apply to subs, he said, why not, Auto Express revealed last year that a Cupra version of the Seat Ateca is on the cards with power from the Leon's 300bhp 2.0 liter turbo petrol engine. That model could still be seen later this year.